Hi, I'm Dia. Welcome to 30 Day Yoga Party Day 6. Today we have an easy and fun flow, so let's get to it. I'll see you on the mat. Hey friends, we're going to start laying on our back today in a reclined bound angle pose. So bring the soles of your feet to touch, let your knees fall open. And go ahead and bring your palms to your low belly and pause here when you arrive. And feel yourself sort of settle in here, both to the floor and to yourself. Observe the way your belly lifts your hands as you inhale and the way that everything falls back towards itself as you exhale. Take a few breath cycles here just to observe. Notice the way that maybe your shoulders release and then your hips release and maybe your mind releases. as you do your best to be in the present moment. What's in the past is in the past. Right now we have no control over our future, as if we ever did, ha ha ha. <laughs> but, you know, what you have control over is your ability in this moment to keep your focus on your breath and on yourself. Take about three more breath cycles here. Awesome. You can let that go. Bring your hands outside of your thighs and then invite your knees up to the ceiling. From here, I want you to cross your right leg over your left like you're just casually having a conversation with a buddy. And then shift your hips over to the left and let two knees fall to the right. Good, adjust as needed. Oh my goodness, this twist is giving me away. I am very tight in my hips more tight than usual, but I guess that's the way it goes. This is why we don't compare our practice to any other day of practice. Each day is its own journey. Good. You can cactus this left arm to the left, gaze to the left. This is called a twisted root. I like that name. Good. Take one more inhale. And exhale, bring your knees back through center, rearrange your hips back under your torso and uncross your leg, moving to the other side. Left leg crosses casually over your right, shift your hips to the right, and then let your knees fall to the left. Oh boy, and then just be where you are. Cactus your right arm to the right and gaze to the right. And continue to breathe. Can you find some ease in what is potentially a challenging moment? Can your breath help you to settle in? Good, take an inhale. And exhale. Lift your knees back through center. Uncross your leg. Pause for a moment. Get your shoulders over your hips here. 
Good. Bring your knees to your chest and your hands behind your knees. We're gonna rock and roll forward three or four times. And at the last time that you roll forward, I want you to come to a forward fold. So here we go. Rocking back and forth a couple times. Build up some momentum. I'm gonna not talk while I do this so I can actually do the move. Good forward fold. Did you make it? I hope that you did. Pause here for a moment, heel toe your feet a little wider than your hips, and go ahead and take a nice generous fold forward. Good. Practice bending your knees and then lengthening them. Awesome. Now heel toe your feet back towards each other, about hips width distance. I'm gonna rotate to face you. Good, from here, still in a forward fold, Bend your left knee, keep your right leg long and strong. Left palm down to the earth underneath your nose, and then you're gonna reach your right fingers to the sky. A nice big open chest here. Awesome. See if you can send your hips back and let that give you some space to lengthen through your spine as you reach forward. Good, breathe in. And breathe out to switch. Bend your right knee, left leg lengthens, right palm down and left fingertips to the sky. Good. Really press your palm down to the floor and let that energy reach all the way up through your left fingers here. Inhale. And exhale, come back to a forward fold. I'm gonna rotate to the top of my mat. Good. Inhale, find a half lift. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale to sweep your hands out and up, palms face each other, keep your gaze forward. And exhale, fold over two legs. Good, inhale, find your half lift. And on your exhale, you'll bend your knees, fingertips to the earth, send your left toes back, coming to a nice low lunge. From here, untuck your toes and send your hips back, half split. Flex these right toes. And I like to, once I arrive here, send my heel forward just a little bit so I have more of this knee over hip relationship, knee under hip relationship. Good. Beautiful. We're going to move this forward and backwards a few times. So inhale as you bend your front knee. It might be quite a long reach since we just adjusted. And exhale to straighten and fold. Inhale, bend to gaze forward. Exhale, straighten and fold. One more. Inhale, bend, shift forward. And exhale, straighten, hold here. Drag your right hip back as you take an inhale. And exhale, re-bend your front knee, tuck those back toes, lift your back knee, and step forward back to the top of your mat to a nice forward fold. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, sweep your hands out and up, palms face each other, gaze forward. And exhale, fold. Moving to the other side, inhale for a half lift. Exhale, tend your fingers to the earth, bend your knees, the right toes, reach back. Good. Lower your back knees, untuck your back toe, and then shift your hips back. Flex your left toes towards your shin. Good. And then decide if you want to send that left heel forward a little bit. Beautiful. And we'll take this on the road. Bend your knee, gaze forward. Inhale as you lift your chest. And exhale, hips back and fold. Inhale to shift forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, shift forward, gaze forward. Exhale, hold here. Take an inhale. Draw that left hip back. Exhale. Nice. Shift your weight forward. Tuck your back toes, lift that back knee, and then step to the top of your mat. Forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale to fold forward again. 
Inhale, sweep your hands out and up. Palms face each other, maybe gaze between your fingers. And exhale to fold forward. We're taking a full sun A here. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, palms down. This time, step, step back to a plank. Continue to exhale as you shift forward and lower your stomach to the mat. Point your toes firm, your legs. Inhale, lift your chest. And exhale, tuck toes, press to downward facing dog. Beautiful. Take three breaths here. Inhale. And exhale. Feel your inner thighs rotating behind you towards the back of your mat. As you lengthen through your armpits here. One more inhale. And exhale. Okay. Inhale to lift your right leg up and back. And exhale, step forward to your right thumb. Good. Left palm down, right fingertips reach to the sky. Low twist. Okay, my friends. I want you to think about your two inner thighs reaching and squeezing in towards the midline, towards each other. Keep your arms nice and long and then lift your torso, wide arms. Good, high lunge twist. Take an inhale and exhale. From here, you're going to bring your right hand, your back hand down and forward as you cartwheel your arms open, rotating to warrior two. How'd you do? This back heel is pressing into the earth. Front knee is bent. Breathe in and breathe out. Flip your front palm, reach up and back, reverse warrior, front knee stays bent. Breathe in and breathe out as you come back through your warrior two. From here, you're gonna make a big rotation. Bring two fingers to the sky, lift that back heel, heel toe your right foot to the right just a little bit. So we're in this nice high lunge. From here, press your palms through heart center. And then you're gonna shift your weight forward Float that back heel up, stand down into your right leg, warrior three. Good job. Okay, breathe in and breathe out. Rebend your front knee, left toes reach back, coming back to your high lunge. You got this. Press your palms down, step back to a plank and take a flow lower to your belly. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Once you arrive here, take an inhale. And exhale. Inhale, lift your left leg up and back. And exhale, step forward to your left thumb. Awesome. Right palm down. Left fingers reach to the sky. Low lunge twist. Cool. Your two inner thighs are squeezing in towards each other, all towards the midline. And from here, lift your torso, let your arms stay wide. Good. Just like at the beginning of this practice in that forward fold where we had one hand pressed and one hand reaching, it's still that same sort of energy and relationship between the two. Breathe in and breathe out. Circle your back hand down and up as you unwind into Veera Vajrasana two, warrior two. Gazing over that left finger. Beautiful, take an inhale. And exhale. Flip your front palm, reach up and back. Breathe in through your reverse warrior. And breathe out through warrior two. Okay, big move here. Right hand swims down and up. Back heel rotates up. Heel to that left foot to the left a little bit. High lunge. Good, press your palms through heart center. Shift your weight forward, float that right heel up. Left leg lengthens into the earth. Warrior three. Gorgeous. Continue to breathe. Nice and easy here. Take an inhale and exhale. Bend your front knee, right toes reach back, back through your high lunge. Inhale and exhale, palms down, step back. Take a flow. Awesome, three breaths here. Inhale and exhale. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale 
and exhale. From here, soften your knees, gaze forward, and take many steps, I mean it, many steps, like 10 steps to the top of your mat. Good. Once you arrive, take another ragdoll hang. Nod your head yes and shake your head no. And in this fold, bend your knees. Continue to bend them greater and greater and greater until you can use your hands here. You come to a seat on your mat. Awesome. I'm going to face you. Soles of feet to touch, knees wide. Baddha Konasana. We started in this pose reclined on our backs and now we'll take it, sit it upright. Sit it, seated. Don't bust me. Okay, inhale, lengthen through your spine and exhale, start to hinge forward from your hips. Drag your elbows back towards your ribs and do your darndest to keep a nice long spine here. Good. Like you're peering over your mat maybe to see what's below. Awesome. And then from here, go ahead and round forward. More of a yin approach to this pose now. Continue to breathe. Good, one more inhale. And exhale, roll up through your spine. Bring your inner thighs together. I'm gonna to rotate again. Reverse tabletop, step your feet into the earth, bring your palms behind you, fingertips facing towards your glutes, or you also have the option to rotate them out left and right. Whatever is to your taste, go ahead and step your feet down, lift your pelvis up. Good, and adjust as needed. Think about those feet stepping into the earth and your palms pressing down into the earth as you open through the front of your body. And take an inhale. And exhale, soften through your hip crease, lower your glutes to the earth. And go ahead and roll to your back. Once you arrive, you can let your legs extend long beneath you. Let your toes fall open, palms face up towards the sky. We have made it to our well-deserved Shavasana. Let's inhale together and exhale for rest.
start to deepen your breath. Bring some nice, easy movements to your body, allowing your awareness to come back in. Reach your arms overhead. Big juicy stretch. And then bend your knees, roll to your favorite side, and walk yourself up to a comfortable seat. And we'll face towards each other with palms pressed to heart center, bow your head towards your heart and take a moment to sit in gratitude. Thank you for your practice. Namaste. Mm -hmm.